What's up guys, it's Bebe Hey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley, and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw by the title of today's video, I am filming a healthy day in my life and this is kind of the second video to the healthy days with Bebe Hey. So I am going to share with you all what I'm eating today, maybe some other healthy tips, a workout, and just kind of bring you along for all of my healthy things today. So I obviously woke up this morning, I had some water and coffee, and I got my new glass mugs. I've been using them and loving them from Crate and Barrel. I'll link them in case you guys are wanting to get them but I opened them up in my last productive day in my life video so if you guys haven't seen that one go check that video out but I wanted to tell you guys I forgot to say this in that video but these mugs are not um, microwave safe and usually I heat my coffee in the microwave like over and over because I drink my coffee so slow so I just wanted to make sure you guys know that that that's the only downfall about these mugs is that they aren't meant to go in the microwave so I'll just pour my coffee into a separate cup and then heat it up if I want to it can be kind of annoying but you know for the aesthetic <laughs> so I just wanted to make sure in case you guys order it I don't want you to put it in the microwave but I'm gonna have some breakfast it's 10 17 and in that productive day in my life video I got a new yogurt that I wanted to try so I waited to film it and try it with you guys so I'm gonna have some yogurt this morning not the forager one and then I think I'm going to show you too how I make overnight oats because I've been having a lot of people ask me about how to make it and I could just make it today and then have that tomorrow so maybe we'll do the full overnight oats recipe too. Gosh I feel so lame because I use the same fruit on my yogurt but I'm telling you guys strawberries and blueberries are just my favorite fruits so I always have that. I've also been having bananas lately too and I'm going to put banana in the um, overnight oats recipe because I haven't tried that yet and I think that would be good like mashed up banana in that with peanut butter like peanut butter and banana is such a good combo. I do that for smoothies a lot so I'm going to do that but this is the yogurt it's the GT's Coco Yo coconut yogurt I've seen a lot of people post about this yogurt so let's give it a taste so I don't want to make my whole fruit bowl if I don't actually like the yogurt because then I'll just use the Kite Hill one I don't know why, but it kind of gives me more of like dessert vibes. Like I would want to use this as whipping cream, honestly. I I don't think I'm gonna do it for the fruit bowl. Like the texture of it is so fluffy. This one is just like so much more smooth. And that one has like, kind of like little chunks in it. <laughs> I think this is the one. Oh yeah, my dishwasher is clean. So I'm gonna need to empty that. But the Forager yogurt is still my favorite one. They didn't have it when I was at Whole Foods the other day so I just got the Kite Hill one and this one's still good too but I don't know I'm just not really into that Coco Yo one so toppings for the fruit bowl today coconut flakes cacao nibs hemp seeds and goji berries and I know that you can soak goji berries too I think it, I think you just do it in hot water for like a couple minutes it says you on Google <laughs> it says you can soak dried goji berries in hot water for a few minutes until they've softened when rehydrated the goji berries taste almost like a very sweet cherry tomato so if you're wanting to soak your goji berries you can totally do that 
I think that I am too lazy right now. <laughs> I'm just hungry and I don't care to do it, but I will try it at some point. And I don't know if you guys saw the What I Eat In A Day video. This is very similar to that because I'm basically making the same breakfast. But this is my fruit bowl 2.0. So I just do the yogurt, fruit, and then I do my toppings. And I recently started adding these two toppings this year in 2021. And it makes it a lot better, honestly. Just do a tablespoon coconut flakes, one tablespoon of cacao nibs, and then I don't do a whole tablespoon of hemp seeds. I just do like a little scoop. Drizzle that on. And then I just do a scoop of the goji berries. So here's the fruit bowl. There are some days that I will like design it differently. So I'll do like all the toppings on one side and all the fruit on one side. Today I just sprinkled it all over on top of it. But it never disappoints. Mmm, God, it's so good. If you haven't tried this yet, it's time. <laughs> but I did want to address something on my channel because I have been getting a lot of messages and comments about this. And if you guys have been watching my channel, especially from when I moved to Vegas to now, if you guys have seen some of those older videos i have lost some weight since that time and i think that the biggest factor for me was my stress hormone cortisol levels and during that time when i first moved to vegas i think that i was just a lot more stressed and i was living in a stressful environment and i really just wasn't happy and I think that that caused me to hold on to a lot more weight and I was going to Orange Theory so much I was working out and I was trying really hard but I wasn't losing any weight and I truly think that it was just because I was so stressed out and unhappy and me moving and getting my first apartment and living alone has truly transformed my mental state, my physical state. There are so many benefits that I've gotten from now living alone. And I think that if you find that maybe you're working out and you're eating healthy and you're doing all the right things, but you're still not losing weight, it could be because of your stress levels. So I just wanted to say that because it is something that made a big impact for me. I really just am happier now. I have a lot more energy. I feel so much better. And so I didn't like do anything really besides like change my living situation and continue to eat really healthy. And I still exercise a lot too, but I think the biggest thing was honestly just the stress. So the ingredients for the overnight oats, we're doing rolled oats, chia seeds, almond milk, yogurt, you can do Greek yogurt, any type of yogurt you want, peanut butter, if you don't want peanut butter, you don't have to add this, cinnamon, and then banana. You also don't need the yogurt too, but I just like to do it. So we're gonna start by doing half a cup of rolled oats, tablespoon of chia seeds, half a cup of almond milk, fourth a cup of yogurt, big dash of cinnamon, and I'm talking a big dash. <laughs> also gonna do a tablespoon of peanut butter. Also adding half of a banana. So I'm gonna start by kind of mashing the banana. And you could do this all separately, but it doesn't really matter. Now I'm just taking a spoon and mixing it all up. Now what I like to do is take the measuring cup and I was using to pour the almond milk and put the whole mixture into the measuring cup. Okay. 
And then I just pour it into two glasses. And the reason I do two glasses is because this can be pretty filling. And putting it in the measuring cup helps it pour nicely into the cup so you don't make a mess. And there you have two little cups of overnight oats. So you just leave it in the fridge and then you can eat it the next day. So I got my workout set on. This one is from Gymshark and I wear it a lot. It's one of my favorite workout sets. I really wanna get another set from Gymshark. I have two, but maybe I should treat myself soon. Um, and then I have my Adidas Swift Run sneakers on, but yesterday, I did legs and my hamstrings are killing me. <laughs> so I think today we're gonna do some upper body. So the workout I'm gonna be doing is one of Whitney Simmons dumbbell upper body workouts and all credit goes to her. So I'll leave the link in my description box so you guys can follow along with her. It's on her Instagram. And it's gonna be four exercises and then you repeat it three times. So I'm just gonna show you guys me doing it through once and then just know that I repeated it. So let's just get started. So the first exercise is 12 bicep curls to front raise. Workout is done. I came back and freshened up, switched into my clothes, and it's now 1.36, and I'm hungry for lunch. And today I'm kind of feeling of going back to the basics and just having avo toast with two fried eggs. I think that this is like one of the best lunches. It always fills me up. There's a lot of good healthy fats in it, and there's bread, and I love bread. <laughs> so I'll show you how I make that. So the ingredients are very simple, but we have the Food for Life gluten-free English muffins, and then I'm gonna be mixing avocado with lemon juice. This avocado isn't really big. I'll probably only eat half or maybe a fourth of this. And then I have eggs, and these are my cute little, oh, well, I have two of them, but this is my cute little egg crate. And then I also recently got this mini butter dish, and I need to put butter, on, butter in it, but it's so cute too. So I'll do two fried eggs and then obviously everything but the bagel seasoning. You cannot make avocado toast without the seasoning. It's just not the same. So that's what we're gonna be working with. The English muffins are frozen. So I just heat it in the microwave for like 30 seconds to thaw it so I can cut it and then obviously toast it. I usually toast it like twice in the toaster. And these olive oil bottles, I mean, <laughs> oil and vinegar bottles pour so nicely. You need them. 
And then I recently got this new little silicone gadget and you just brush the oil so it gets all over the pan, which is so satisfying. And then I make my fried eggs in this little fried egg cooker. You just take this off, and then you take a spatula. It's really hard to do this one-handed, and flip it. Mm, yay! <laughs> and then I usually just start cooking the second egg. I also have this avocado three-in-one gadget, and you guys need this. I don't know if you guys know, because you might be new to my channel, but I severed a tendon and a nerve in my pinky finger from cutting myself, cutting an avocado, so this is very important. But I just take this and cut my avocado. Sorry, you can hear the egg, like, literally cooking in the back. go and then if you want to you can take this side and you can put this on and take the pit out I'm gonna save this side so I'm not gonna do it right now but this is a great gadget and I got it from Amazon and some lemon juice to it Then you can just take your everything but the bagel seasoning and top it on your avocado. And you can do it over the sink like me if you don't want to make a mess. Super simple lunch you can make. But here is what it looks like. Avocado toast with everything but the bagel seasoning and two fried eggs. Also made a little iced coffee. I just did the Starbucks uh, medium roast iced coffee with almond milk. My ratios are a little off because I probably could add more coffee to this. <laughs> but it's fine. And then I'm also trying to get 64 ounces of water in a day. So I have my water jug. I'm a little bit behind on water today, so I need to catch up. But I'll get there. Don't need to panic. <laughs> so I got my water too. But this is one of my favorite lunches. And I get a lot of questions about this. Everyone always asks me, are you vegan? And no, not vegan. I'm eating eggs. <laughs> I'm just gluten and dairy free. And the reason I'm dairy free is because I'm lactose intolerant. I've actually been lactose intolerant since I was a baby. And then I'm also gluten intolerant, but I've been to the doctor and been tested. So if you guys are wondering if you should go gluten or dairy free, then I just recommend seeing your doctor. They can test you and then they'll be able to tell you if you're intolerant to anything. In terms of working out, if you are struggling with finding the motivation to work out, try to think about it more as just like you're moving your body and you're doing something to make you feel good and a workout doesn't have to be something that's with weights you can just walk on the treadmill you can walk outside and there are a lot of days that i will just walk for my workout and i also like to do 12 3 30 which is lauren geraldo's workout where you um, walk for 30 minutes on a 12 incline in a three speed that workout has been trending a lot and a lot of people like that so there's a lot of different workouts that you can do and i try to think about working out as just a place for my mind as well and to make me feel good and then in terms of like eating i just think that eating in a way that you feel guilt or shame is not fun and you should eat foods that make you feel super energized and they fuel your body and so obviously like you know treat yourself here and there but just eat foods that fuel your body and give you energy and that you won't you know feel guilty after eating them so this is definitely a meal that i really look forward to i don't feel any guilt by it and it fills me up. <laughs> Cleaned up the kitchen and now I'm just sitting outside drinking some water. 
I think that something else that's really good to do for your body and your mind is to get fresh air. So I like to sit outside every day for a little bit and at least just get some fresh air. And I think I'm gonna leave and go to Home Goods. I'm really been I've really been wanting to organize my bathroom, and I want to see if they have any good like bins or baskets. So I'll do a video organizing my bathroom soon. But I'm just gonna go there and see if I can find anything, and then I'll touch base with you guys later this evening when I make dinner. So I am at home now, and it is like almost six. So I'm gonna make dinner here soon. But I wanted to show you guys because I went to Home Goods and Target. And found like exactly what I had envisioned in my head. So at Home Goods, I got these baskets, and these are super cute. So I got two of these, and then I also wanted to get a couple clear bins to go under the sink as well. So I picked up these, and I got four of them. So I'll do two on one side and then I'll also do two on the other side. And I have these same bins in my cabinet in my kitchen. So if you guys haven't seen my organize my kitchen with me video, you should go watch it. But I got these bins for my kitchen. And these ones are actually a little bit wider. So I just wanted to show you what I got. And that's what I've been doing for the last hours but now i'm gonna make dinner i'm starving it's like six and i think tonight for dinner i'm actually gonna make burritos or do like a taco kind of night oh whoops so let's see when i was at the store oh yeah i went to the grocery store too i put everything away maybe i'll give you Grocery haul? I don't know. I'll just show you what I'm gonna use for my burritos. So I have the Siete tortillas. Sorry, my camera stopped filming, but these are the ingredients for dinner tonight. So I have the cassava flour Siete tortilla um, tortillas and then I also have the forager plant-based sour cream and I've had this before it's actually really good so I'm gonna have that and then I also picked up this organic kale and veg salsa it looked really good gonna make some black beans I have the violife mozzarella cheese this is the Gardein Beefless Ground Beef, and I know I've said that I'm not vegan. I'm not vegan, but I just don't really like to eat red meat that much, so I prefer to have this. And then I'm going to do some roasted corn and onion. So I'm just going to get started on this. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? Wow. I love it. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm just heating up some butter in here. I'm just gonna add some corn. And then I'm also gonna be seasoning this with the Siete taco seasoning. This is the mild one. And I love that it has such minimal ingredients in it. There's chili powder, sea salt, ground dates, tomato powder, garlic powder. You can pause and read all this if you want. But I just think that this is a good seasoning for meats. The beefless ground beef cooks really fast, four to five minutes. This also takes like four to five minutes and this also takes a few minutes. So it doesn't take very long to cook all this up. And then I'm obviously not making like a lot of the meat. So I am only gonna be doing like a fourth of the package of seasoning. Otherwise, it will be way too over seasoned. So I'm just going to do a little meat, onion, some corn, beans, I'm just gonna 
do another one. And now I'm just gonna bake this in the oven. If I actually had like burritos, I would roll them up, but these are too small. So I'm just gonna eat them like tacos. Everything is obviously cooked, but the reason I'm putting them in the oven is just so that it all gets warm. The beans will get warm and then the cheese will melt as well. And there you go. I'm aware that this dinner may not look the most aesthetic, but I have a feeling it's gonna taste really good. And I know I did a lot of sauce, cause I just, I want the sauce tonight. Let's see how these are. Really good. A little messy. I wouldn't recommend this for maybe like a date night dinner. <laughs> I don't feel like it's very really cute. Or maybe just don't put so much sour cream on it. looks back there all clean I just love the feeling of making dinner eating it and then cleaning up after and just knowing that my kitchen is cleaned up so now I can enjoy my kombucha it's only 7 50 but it's a nice time to either watch YouTube, watch a show. I haven't been watching any shows lately besides Bachelor on Bachelor Mondays and All American on Tuesdays. Literally looks like, I was filming like this and it literally looked like I had like a hat or something. So I'm gonna hold the camera like this. But if you guys have any good shows that you're loving that you think I should watch, comment those down below because I need a good show to start watching. Also, if you have kombucha, and especially if you have it in a wine glass, tag me on Instagram on your story so that I can see it because I wanna know when you guys have kombucha because of me. So go to my Instagram, it's baby hey and I'll have the link in my description box and tag me in all your kombucha posts so that I can see it. It's just so good. It has a lot of health benefits. I think it's helped me with my digestion. But my little healthy reminders for you are to eat in a way that makes your body feel good. And if you're struggling with eating healthy, try to remember that you should view eating healthy as a place of being kind to your body. Give your body good fuel and energy and nourishment. And you should try to drink a lot of water. I've been doing my 64 ounces of water a day. And move your body, even if it's a simple workout or a walk around outside, just Move your body and stay positive. You guys got this. I believe in you. So I'm going to relax and enjoy this evening. But I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.